Vikramji, Shri members of my family, our friends at WMG, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to all of you on this wonderful occasion. Our congratulations on behalf of the palace to Vikram on uh, completing 15 years and the relaunch of Splendors of Royal Mysore. I was uh, just about 16 when the book came out and uh, the, at the time, of course, there was a uh, part of the family that, of course, contributed as well in terms of their insights and there was part of the family that weren't all too flattered about the book. And uh, I, at a very formative stage and just getting a lot of pride about Mysore, uh, you'll have to forgive me, Vikram, but belong to that uh, faction of the family at the time. Uh, but as, as many of us know, when forced to look in a mirror, we often find fault at the smallest of things, uh, when actually the whole picture is often uh, one that is quite uh, palatable. So, uh, in fact, I always have said this to Vikram multiple times, and he has mentioned in his own speech, there wasn't a contemporary account of the history of Mysore up till that point. There was one in Kannada, there were, of course, Haiwatan Rao's uh, via the University of Mysore that was published uh, way before independence that only covered up to 1799 and various other smaller studies done, but nothing in the mainstream a contemporary account. And I think in many ways a significant part has been played in the revival of Mysore history by Vikram's book. So it is not just uh, the 15 years completing here is also thanks to you to, uh, in many ways, to reviving that history and letting all of Mysore know about uh, not just the palace history, but the history of the state itself, which uh, I have always said we are joint custodians to. It is not the palace singularly, but all of us that are custodians to the rich history of Mysore and India itself. And upholding that and moving forward is a joint and collaborative effort and uh, it will take many more hands to see all of that history come of light, not just Mysore, but many others that are there. And uh, so once again, congratulations to Vikram. And uh, we hope uh, the book continues many, many issues and continues to be uh, the sort of beacon for Mysore history and the starting point uh, going forward. Uh, they have asked me to, of course, speak on my own family and I don't find uh, much, uh, there's no, not much meaning to that. I don't wish to talk too much about it. Vikram has highlighted many things on it. Uh, I just wanted to uh, point out a few things with regards to princely India itself. Uh, when looking back at that entire era, of course, uh, we are now re-evaluating re the perspectives that we were all educated into believing was the right way of looking at pre-independent India. And in many ways, one, er one area which is uh, perhaps not shed enough light on and perhaps not gaining the pers true perspective it requires is that of one third of India which was governed directly by the princes or under the princely India. And uh, it is not just Mysore. There are multiple examples of many things. In fact, the number of uh, areas where something wrong has happened is far less compared to where many rights were done. Uh, you look at Sri, uh, the Maharaja of Baroda, Sri Sahaji Rao Gaikwad, whose uh, state in many ways echoed Mysore. You look at uh, Maharaja Ganga Singh of Bikaner, who was the um, famously the only non-white person to sign on the Treaty of Versailles. You look at the participation of the princely forces in the First and the Second World War. In many ways, if not for the aid and the sacrifice of the Indian soldiers, many of whom belong to the princely states, uh, the world, uh, the free world as we know it today, would not exist. So there are many aspects of princely India which need highlighting and need re-evaluating in many uh, fronts. And while we are uh, individuals like Vikram who are spearheading this charge with their many books on brave, the brave arts of Bharat and Veer Savarkar, etc., uh, re-evaluation even in princely India is very much required in order to gain the true uh, sort of perspectives of the time which were very much different to what we understood from the socialist era of India, which unfortunately cast a very uh, negative image of the princes overall. Uh, saying that, um, I have, would uh, have much more to add on, but I think it would be much more um, uh, intuitive today or much more, uh, I think, uh, engaging if uh, we allowed the audience to ask questions. And so, I leave the floor open up to you, and I'd lovely, happy to interact on any which matter. Uh, I wanted to again thank WMG for organizing this lovely event. Uh, they, beyond all the lovely events, they do something that is particularly um, 
appreciative from our end, especially from the MISO family, is the fact that they dedicate most of their CSR activities to wildlife conservation, something that is really not done at all. And coming from a family that has a long history and appreciation of wildlife, in fact, Vikram, you didn't mention one thing, all of the major tiger reserves in Karnataka and why all belong into the old area of MISO. In fact, if you look at the British administered region, there aren't very many tiger reserves there. But all of the major tiger reserves always more or less fall into princely India. So it was because of the fact that princely India enjoyed conservation and enjoyed wildlife. Yes, there was that aspect of hunting as well. But it was done in a conservation manner moving forward. That's why most of the tiger reserves are in princely India as well. So WMG group doing this um, wonderful initiative of taking part in uh, wildlife conservation. Their wildlife conservation activities is truly laudable and it's always a pleasure to be a part of their programs. Uh, I think they're doing wonderful service to all of us here in Bangalore in bringing these uh, wonderful programs here for all of us to have these uh, wonderful evenings. So thank you very much, WMG. My congratulations to Vikram again and uh, wishing you all a very good evening. We look forward to the interactive session here. Thank you.